Yo, what is up guys and welcome back to another episode of Slice of Shonen. I'm your host, The Cloudy Crow, and today we'll be reacting to Doro episode 11. Now, in the last episode, we got to journey through the eyes of Tahomaru, which is Hyakimaru's brother, if you don't know already, which you all should know. But yeah, we get to go through the eyes of Tahomaru, and we get to kind of witness the relationship between him and his dad and see how it's kind of severed by this secret that his dad's keeping from him, which is that he has a brother named Hyakimaru, and he knows nothing about who Hyakimaru is or what Hyakimaru's past was and his importance to the family and what's going on in the land. And earlier into the series, we, he kind of comes off as a snobby rich kid. Like, you don't really like him because he seems like he's been spoiled by his dad, and his dad's not a good guy, so you think that he's probably a bad apple. But then, a lot of us were proven wrong, and a lot of you guys brought this up in the comments section, where, in this last episode, he really proved himself. Like, he went out of his way to help the commoners slay this sea monster that the other people in the noble rank didn't want anything to do with. So he went out of his way with his bodyguards to fight this monster and we get to see his brains his resourcefulness when he comes up with this trap to try to get the sea monster outside of the water now the sea monster does eventually come up with a plan to bring the water back in and things start to look bleak and then Hyakimaru comes in he cuts the crab open you know he's treating us to red lobster today and then after they take out the crab then as Tahomaru sailing away he kind of looks back at Hyakimaru and Hyakimaru looks towards him and then they kind of sense somewhat of a connection. They're like, who is this guy? And does he seem familiar? They kind of have that thought in their head as they're drifting away. So maybe they might, you know, get to know each other more in this episode or it might just be a couple more episodes until they actually meet again. But it was really cool actually seeing them meet for the first time and actually look at each other and realize that there's some kind of connection between them. But anyways, I'm excited for this episode if you guys are excited make sure to leave a like comment your thoughts on the episode down below and subscribe for more slices shown in action but with that being said let's get right into this video oh yeah one of his bodyguards is about to be chomped down on and Hiyakimaru cuts him open ah oh, that looks so gross on the inside what the heck was inside of him Oh yeah, and that thing was a demon, and so since Hyakimaru killed it, he should get some part of his body back, is what I'm expecting, but who knows, who knows. Okay, so this- Oh! He actually stopped to talk to him! Yo, are we gonna find out this episode? True. They did kind of come and save the day. Look at that. He's humble too. Like, Tahomaru really is not as bad as I thought he was. I wonder what's going on in his head right now. He sees white. Yeah, dude, he's pretty impressive, isn't he? Dude, and he was even able to fight a monster he couldn't see with his, um, by sensing his soul. Yeah, the real deal. Demons, monsters, come one, come all. We'll slay all of you. Easy peasy. And you know Doro asking for the quick cash? Look at that, dude. Oh? Oh, does that have any significance? Ring any bells? Well, then again, they didn't name him, did they? Was it... Oh, what's his name? Jura? Did he name Hyakimaru? Dude, there's a connection there! And they both know it. 
Dude, it's all good, man. You tried your best. You were out there putting in work. How did he know, though? Ooh. You can't think like that, though. Like, dude, Hyakimaru needs to show them. They're out here disrespecting him, saying a vagabond can't compare to him. You'll see, dude. Hyakimaru's a beast. Ooh, okay. Now they're in a real town, like a real bustling town. As you can see, there's trade going on everywhere. In the other towns, it seemed like they were all kind of miserable living there. Or they all had, like, their own share of problems. What? What is this song? Oh my gosh! Is she okay? <gasps> what? Why did she? <laughs> what? <laughs> How does she know? <laughs> what? <laughs> How does she know? <laughs> what the heck was she there? <laughs> How does she know? <laughs> Hyakimaru's past. The only people that should know is the midwife, his dad, and his mom. I love this music. This is not what happened. They've got it all twisted. <laughs> How dare you! Oh, dude. <gasps> the old man! What is he doing here? Man, and they praise Daigo. And they don't even know what he did, dude. He threw his own son under the bus in order to save his land. And everybody's over here cheering him on. Is he talking about his parents? Her parents. Her parents. Sorry, I forgot. I gotta get that into my head now. Doro is a girl. Mm-hmm. The demons Daigo defeated? I don't know about that. It's kind of like he's working with them, isn't he? Like he made a deal with them, and they're like helping him out, showing him that Hyakimaru is still alive. They've got it all the way twisted, man. Oh! So that's what those lines are. <laughs> there was someone else that had that as well. Was it, um... Uh... Was it the spider girl? Did she have the white aura with the red specks? I'm not sure, but there was some other creature that had that as well. Or some other person. The curse of Bon Mon. Mm. Oh, sure. The goddess of mercy. Is that what he told you guys? Is that what he paid you to say? The curse of Banmon. Oh, dang! Daigo knows he's here! Is he gonna. Oh, man. Oh, man. Look at his mom, dude! 
Oh, man. She's like, at first she was happy to hear that he was still alive, but at the same time, she knows Daigo's gonna do everything he can to get rid of him. Man, dude, Daigo's a freaking scumbag. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so the goddess of mercy is who she's been praying with, not the Buddha. What? Holy crap. So these are all people that... What? Did they speak against the goddess of mercy? Or they didn't believe in her or something? All I know is they were on the wrong side of Daigo's arrow. In that wall. The wall is a demon? <laughs> Holy crap. Just like that? You just step over the line and you're dead? Oh man. So they built that wall. Oh dang. And that's the, that's all that remains of the wall that they built. Huge monsters everywhere. Hey, cough it up. Okay. <laughs> so he was the one that got them the food. Sukero. Sukero. So, this is the statue she's been praying to. But why? <gasps> oh, you saw that gleam, dude? She really... Get this dude out of here! I think you should go unpunished. Like, it wasn't your decision to, like, kill him. No, just you, buddy. Just you. I'm pretty sure, like, Tahomaru, if he ever inherited the land, I think he'd be able to... Well, but he was, like, struggling with famine and terrible weather. So it wasn't even... Like, his bad leadership, it was just bad luck. Oh! Oh, what? He was there? He heard everything. Man. This is... Uh, it's, it's so weird, because he's, like, so innocent. But I feel like he's also in denial of what really happened. Cause like, those houses are on fire. What is this? Oh! The Bonmon monster. So are these things linked to the wall then? These are like the spirits of the people that were killed on that wall? Ooh, we're not playing any games though. Clean cut through him. Alright, yep, easy peasy. Cutting them all down. Doesn't seem like too big of a problem. Yeah, I knew it. I knew it. An ordinary sword isn't gonna do anything. It's only gonna go uphill from here. Ooh. We're now we're not playing games for real. Ooh. It's a nasty scratch. 
Hey, get him, Doro! <laughs> He's pretty good with those! She! Oh my gosh! She's pretty good with those! But didn't she practice throwing rocks at targets? So I'm not really surprised. Oh no. Oh, it's going straight after him. Oh no, it's going for Dororo. Yeah, we're not letting that happen. You can sit down right now. Yeah, we'll handle you guys. This is between you and me. Oh, okay. So this is your real form. A QB. A bit older. I wonder how much older though. I'd guess probably like maybe a year. Ooh. And this is the girl again. So what is her deal? How did she know? Who Hyakimaru was? Why is she like shocked at everyone? What? What is she on about? What was that? Was that a head? What is going on? Oh, dang. What can we even do now? He just pinned us down. Uh, got captured. Everybody got captured. Hold up. Hey, get out of here. Ooh, is he done? Nope, nope, we just... Do we get one of his tails? Someone's firing arrows. Oh my gosh. Of course it gets away. Oh, dang. Oh, Daigo! We meet again. And how does she know, dude? Oh! She was the one that ran out! And why is her face like that? Yeah, the demons took everything from him. Oh, is that how it's gonna work? If Yakimaru slays all the demons and gets all of his parts back, is that gonna bring the curse back to the land? Holy crap! Even the like demon altar is glowing. Ooh, he's got the same aura. Hey, what's it gonna be, old man? Oh, dang. Wow. Man, that episode was... I mean, it's definitely... This has to be the rising action. Well, no, we still have, like, 13 more episodes in this entire season. But... I still think this might be the rising action towards a climax. There might be more than one. Well, I don't know. I mean, can there be more than one climax in a story? I don't know. But anyways, we're getting to the big resolution where everyone comes together, everybody knows the truth, and everybody is going to fight for what they think is right. I think that's coming up very soon. And especially because Hyakimaru and Tahomaru met, I think that was the beginning of this rising action and now Daigo knows that Hiyakimaru is in the land and then Daigo comes with his men discreetly to come confront Hiyakimaru and 
I mean, we don't know what's gonna happen. I'm really actually interested in what's gonna happen. Cause, like, is Daigo gonna die here? Is Yakimaru gonna get captured? Is he gonna die here? I mean, I doubt it, but we don't know what the heck is gonna happen. And I mean, they killed Mio, like, what, an episode or two after we met her? So, I wouldn't put it past them to actually take out a major character. Or an important character in this next couple episodes so oh man i am i'm looking forward to the next episode because i really want to see how this plays out but at the same time a part of me is like do i really want to know what happens next <laughs> we all had that feeling when mio died we all had that feeling when the spider girl almost died when her and the guy that she fell in love with almost died so Oh man, this series is just such a wild card series. You never know what's going to happen next, so how can you prepare for anything? <laughs> but anyways, I really enjoyed this episode. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to leave a like, comment your thoughts on the episode down below, and subscribe for more Sides of Shonen content. But with that being said, I am going to head out, and I will see you all in the next one. Have a good one.